How's it going, guys? Savage back with some more totally accurate battle simulator. Uh, the simulator of the simulators, if you will. So we have Eastern Rome and Western Rome. There we go. Of course, the only way to play this with super pooper duper slow motion. We have Zeus being Zeusy over here. Zeus himself is freaking the heck out. We have the Minotaurs acting up like nobody's business, like a bunch of Neanderthals. And we aren't even doing the, uh, the Neanderthals yet. These snakes are delicious, nutritious, and malicious. What do we got here? I don't know what this man uh, is going to plan to do, but I don't trust him. Somehow, all the snake archers have made it over to the red side from blue side. At least the majority of them from the up top. Zeus is still nowhere to be found. I actually don't know where he is. Oh, he's headed downstairs with a bunch of the snake archers. Of course he is. He's going right for the minotaurs as per tradition. I'm gonna see about... See if I can speed this up a little bit. I don't think that's gonna happen in the slightest. The frames are horrible. Let me tell you, absolutely terrible. My good golly gosh. Look at all this Minotaur carnage. Stacks on stacks on stacks on stacks. Zeus is making his way around the corner, but these Minotaurs are charging up in an attempt to take out the Blue Army. I don't know how well that's gonna work. It looks like that's all that they have left. The absolute insanity of the other match caused the game to crash, so I have to quickly rebuild and rebuttal. It looks like these Minotaurs are already freaking the heck out more than the average bear. Now let's see if we got anything else. We have a ballista ramping off of this thing over here. Zeus is making his way upstairs this time around for some strange forsaken reason. And it looks like the armies in the middle have been all but wiped out. There's just a pile of corpses. An absolute pile of corpses down in the center of the staircase. The absolute animals, the audacity of those littering bastards throwing their corpses to the bottom. And yes, the snakes are getting eaten alive by the minotaurs. Absolutely eaten alive. Now Zeus is making his way to the second level. Of course, of course. He's gonna go reinforce this ballista, actually. Or at least attempt to. We're gonna see how well these ballistas actually work. Will one of them destroy another? Who actually knows? This one seems to be in the way. Don't know how well this is gonna work, but we're gonna find out. Come on, ballista. Do your thing. I don't even know where the heck that went. Zeus is stuck. The Red Army has a chance to come out of this one on top. But we still have a crap load of archers up on the top level from both blue and red. This ballista is going bananas. Did Zeus just get hit with a ballista bolt? I think he might have. I think Zeus himself is down. No, he's up! And he's alive! Thank goodness. However, he is not able to get out of this very efficiently. I think Zeus might be caught and down for the count. Oh my goodness, he's getting snakes! He is getting snaked. Oh! Zeus is on the battlefield. Zeus is shooting lightning bolts left and right. zip zabbing a zip zabbing He's getting tangled by snakes. He's been absolutely tangled by snakes. Oh, the inhumanity of Zeus himself. He might be out for the count. He might be out for the count, but there he is. There's one absolute banana centurion coming in from the rear to try to fight Zeus with his mighty, mighty spear. He get instantly zapped like a bird touching a power wire. Like that. I haven't seen that much electric static since Red Alert 2. I think Zeus may be down for the count. The Minotaur is pinning him down. And then we have another one going for his toes. 
This is a very odd scenario. I'm not entirely sure what's going on. But just like that, Red has actually come out on top. What happens when the tribes and the hordes decided to invade ancient Greece? What happens when death and pain and sadness decide to invade? Uh, these mammoths are getting awfully long, and look at this, the berserkers are already flying over the wall like absolute freaking animals. And of course, Valkyries are coming in. These ice archers are already causing heaps and heaps of heaps of damage. And of course, the absolute hordes are coming through. I can't even get through all the feet! There's too many feet coming through. I don't know what these guys are doing. This doesn't even make any sense. They should all be going this way. But for some strange reason they're not. The mammoths are slowly dying. There is a boat in the front, ladies and gentlemen. There's a boat in the front. I still don't know what the heck this thing does. But they are shooting ice and rocks and death and destruction everywhere. Where are my Valkyries? My Valkyries are headed up slowly but surely. I think I've lost a majority of my Valks. That's the unfortunate part right now. But I do have something. I don't know what is going on here. They're just falling as soon as they come through. What the heck was that? I don't even know what just happened. I have no idea. Oh, there's a long ship coming through. Oh, oh my goodness. Look at all these men. It's going to be insane. Absolutely insane. I gotta... I gotta slow-mo this. I can't... I don't even know. I can't even register the carnage. It's so ridiculous. It's absolutely insane. Absolutely insanity. Oh my goodness. These spear throwers are destroying the berserkers. Absolutely insane. The right corridor has been cleared of enemies. But the left corridor has hasn't even been started yet. They're trying their best to get up this hill. But I think they're about to get eaten alive. There's a man right there who is destroying things left and right. We got good, the Jarls coming up. The Jarls, ladies and gentlemen. I don't even know why that body was just flying in the air, but that was the scariest damn thing in the world. What do we got going on here? That one's flying backwards, I guess. All right, sure. Why not? Everything else crazy is happening right now. Oh my goodness, this one man is dead. Never mind. Oh! Oh, there's dead men in the wall. There's men dead in the wall. But what's going on in the right column? We got stoners. Stoners and uh, beer throwers left and right. Oh, I think there's a... Bone mage somewhere in here. Look at this. The Jarl is trying to push his way through. I, they got the bone mage. Thank goodness. But they're about to get flanked by the red army as they come through. They still have archers though. Oh, blue is still surviving with one archer. The heck is happening. Red just had the numbers but couldn't pull off the tactical advantage. Red is still trying to back flank. It's not going too well. I might do this. Because Ooh. there is a lot, but then again, oh, Blue's surviving army is making their way up to stop the red flank from red's flank. I don't think this is going to match much longer. They're doing a pincer move right onto red's remaining forces. I don't know how well this is going to go, ladies and gentlemen, but I think it's going to be an absolute upset for red as much as I wished. Red made it. I don't think that's gonna happen this time around, boys and girls. I don't think that's what's gonna happen this time around. Oh my goodness, the carnage. The absolute carnage. It's horrible. Ugh. It's terrible. It makes me want to cry. I'm gonna love it. <coughs> it's terrible. Oh, the carnage. The inhumanity. The absolute inhumanity. There's one man left, and what is he? Somebody with an extremely oblong-looking head. I wonder 
That makes me think of definitely things to do in the future, like bowl. Can you bowl with a mammoth? Who knows? But we're gonna find out. Not this time, though. No. Alright, guys, this time around we have the hordes fighting the hordes. We have an absolute atrocious amount of enemies about to seize this city. I don't know well how well this is gonna work, but we're gonna find out. We have spear throwers and whole mess loads of shield bearers and pain and suffering and yarls and all sorts of death and destruction. Of course, we are fighting these stupid tectonic knights. Teutonic knights, tectonic knights. We have bards and priests and catapults and archers and pain and death and misery and sadness and paramour and all sorts of stuff. That reference probably went over way too many people's heads, I think. I have no idea. Misery, business, and paramour. Of course, the knights are going right in like absolute champions that they are. Deus vaults the absolute savagery of the barbarians. The, the ancients, they are going to survive against this onslaught of woolly tusked elephants. The likes they have never seen before. The archers are doing a heck of a job holding their own. Where are the catapults, you ask? Where are the catapults? Well, you see, they're stuck inside the base, hopefully to actually do some serious damage once these stupid mammoths get close enough. The king is just hammering down on this poor woolly mammoth. He doesn't even know what the heck this thing is. All he knows that is it's, it's invading is down and it needs to be stopped. He's a good king, a noble king, a loved king, and he's here to save his homeland. We have to start over because the game decided to glitch the heck out of me, but we've decided to change it up just a smidgen. We've actually moved the catapults out. We moved the ballistas in place, even though there wasn't ballistas last time. We actually added much more on the enemy faction. The chieftain has done something absolutely amazing. He's recruited this town of stoners. The bunch of freaking stoners and of course he's actually recruited this spear fishing village as well oh my goodness look at the ballista bolt flying into the somerset i guess i don't know the war zone the absolute war zone it's just incomprehensible but the two gigantic reinforced armies are almost at the battlefield Coming up from the rear right flank and the rear mid flank. We have nobody coming from the left flank, so hopefully nothing terrible happens on this side. Then again, Zeus could probably pop up and start popping off people like nobody's business. But this town absolutely needs to get defended. We have arches pouring out left and right, thankfully. Because who knows, the arches are probably going to get needed at some point in the foreseeable future. What will actually happen these... Arches are terrible. The arches are just... Oh, wait! They took out a mammoth! They took out two mammoths! Oh my goodness! Blue might actually pull something crazy off. Two! Two ballistas just took out two catapults! The sheer number of friendly fire incidents is getting absolutely ridiculous now. Oh, that man just got hit in the spine. Oh! What is all this? Oh, we just lost all the catapults. The catapults have been absolutely obliterated. Absolutely obliterated, I say, by the enemy faction. No, not even by the enemy faction. What am I talking about? By their own teammates. The catapults have been destroyed by ballistas. It's an absolute carnage-inducing sadness. I don't know what this man is doing here, but he's kind of just standing and staring into oblivion. The spearman, that spearman just got picked off. What the heck? Oh, the catapult. Oh, oh, red might actually almost be toasted. 
He just got his goose cooked. My goodness. Any of you guys, this has been Tabs. If you have more suggestions for battles, let me know down in the comments and I will see what I can do for ridiculous maps and ridiculous stuff. And I really want to make my own town a big siege. Big, beautiful siege. I don't even know what of, but just a beautiful siege. Anywho, my name is Savage and I will see you guys next time. Bye for now.